Hi, is joining me now with Angelo Civic Theater, and we have another play to talk about that's happening here in town. One flew over the cuckoo's Absolutely. nest. Absolutely, yep, it's a great one. Yeah. And I was just saying, I, you hear the name, you know it's a play, but what is it about? Uh, one flew over the cuckoo's nest is about R. P. McMurphy, who is a prisoner. Um, <clears throat> he's done time his whole life, just kind of a rough and tumble kind of guy, and he gets put in a prison work camp where he's uh, digging ditches and things like that. Weed and, uh, hoeing weeds and things, and he decides that's a lot of work, and he decides to pretend like he's crazy, so that he can he can go to a mental institution to serve out the rest of his sentence. Uh, he wow. finds out, yeah. <laughs> so he finds out that that's a little more trouble. Than so he it's tries worth. to go cuckoo. I yeah. guess that's where the name Absolutely. comes from. Absolutely. Yep. He he tries to become one of the cuckoos and, and join the nest and. Yeah, so he uh, he finds out that there's a big bad nurse there, and everyone that's seen the film or read the book knows that she is a, a lot to handle, <laughs> and it turns out to be a bit more than he can chew. So yeah, it's 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 got a lot of different characters in it. Um, is it humor? It, what it's is got a lot. It's very dark humor. It does have okay. a lot of humor, uh, but it's ultimately a drama. It's it's very dramatic and it's it's um, pretty intense. It, you know the way that I've I've taken it. I want it to be pretty intense. I want it to be as real as possible. 1958s uh, in a sanitarium. You know it's it's. Um, it's so you're going to think that they're really in prison? I hope so, yes. <laughs> That's the whole goal. <laughs> the set definitely looks like it. What have rehearsals been like? Uh, rehearsals have been great. Uh, for the first uh, five to ten minutes of every rehearsal, I have all of my patients and the nurses and things up on the stage just acting in character and just being, you know, loonies in the loony bin <laughs> and having, having a great time with it. But, they're, you know, they're taking it as realistically as possible, coming up with their own diagnosis for what each patient has wow. and really, you know, filling out those psychological Profiles. I can imagine some of those, the patients, mm -hmm. really get into character. And yes. you, so you probably think they're like legit loony. <laughs> I, I, again, yeah. I hope so. Yeah, this is what I we're all hope hoping so. comes yes, across. Yes, absolutely. And some of it's funny. We didn't approach it with a, uh, to make fun of mental illness of, in any way, shape, or form. But the, it really shows that these are still human beings trying to live their lives in this unusual situation. So... Yeah, it's it's uh, it's really moving. It's a really mo moving, wonderful show. This is another one that's for adults. Yes. Would you rate it PG-13 or R? <sighs> if you uh, a well-informed 13-year-old should be able to handle it pretty well. Okay. I, I wouldn't say there's a there's a whole lot of terrible things in it. Uh, there is some you know some violence, some sexual references, and things like that, but nothing nothing, nothing that they haven't seen on yeah <laughs> nothing they haven't seen on probably daytime TV. So <laughs> yeah, why should they come watch it? Uh, if you want to see how things were done in 1958, it's, it's pretty true to form the way that they ran those those hospitals back then. Uh, if you are a fan of of drama and intense acting, intense performance, it's definitely the the place to be. It's it's one of the best shows that I've been a part of, I think, and I've I've been a part of the show multiple times actually, and that's wow. <laughs> first, I, time I first time directing. First time directing. It is my exciting. first time directing. For you, going back to something that was set in 1958, mm -hmm. has that been a challenge for you, directing like that? Shockingly, or? no. As I researched it and looked into 1958 and how people acted, uh, they were pretty much the same for the most part. <laughs> uh, <people laughs> actors spoke, are actors. Yeah, <laughs> actors, actors. The script tells us the the, the verbiage they used back then and things like. That, but it didn't take a lot to to get my actors to push in that direction. It was I thought it was going to be more of a challenge than it ultimately ended up being. But they all I have a lot of great great actors in this, a lot of great performers that have that are seasoned vets, and a few that are brand new. Some have never been on the stage before, wow. and you would never you'll you, you'll have no idea which ones have and haven't been up. And really it's quick, tell us when the shows are. The sh the we have we're on the last weekend, so the 12th through the 14th. Um, Friday and Saturday are both at 7.30 p.m. And then the Sunday performance is our final show, the matinee, at 2 p.m. Perfect. And, yeah, absolutely. Come, come and see it if you can. Last weekend to catch the show, it sounds like a great one. If you're interested in the theater, go to their website. For more information or tickets, everyone stay tuned. I'll be back.